Breaking family, in today's video, much like in videos past, we are building our Pokemon card binder. And in today's video, we are finally going to be putting the binder together for the newest Pokemon card set, Battle Styles. Now, if you're not familiar with how I built a Pokemon card binder, hang on, I'm going to tell them. Let me give you the rundown. So the first thing I do, which makes the most sense, is I go ahead and I get the binder that I'm going to use for that particular set. Then I gather all my Pokemon cards from that set. And in this case, we're using battle styles. As you can tell, nothing is sorted out, so that right there is where the process begins. First things first, I go through and I take out all of the reverse hollow commons, uncommons, and rares. I set those aside because I'm going to be putting those in a little bit later. Then I go through and I start making stacks of every specific type of Pokemon card, every grass Pokemon, every water Pokemon, every trainer card. I make a stack for everything, except all the reverse hollows. Those go in one pile, and then all the ultra rares go in another pile. So once I get everything sorted out, I find a Pokemon card list. A good one to use is an Elite Trainer Box list. And when I start putting the cards into the Pokemon card binder, I like to put them in numerical order. So starting with number one, it's going to be a Grass Pokemon. In this case, it's Bellsprout. So starting with number one, and then I build the binder all the way through. Now once all the commons, uncommons, and rares are in the binder, that's when I go through and I start taking the reverse hollows and I put the reverse hollow cards in front of the regular card. Now whenever I build a Pokemon card binder, I try to build it to 100% completion, pulling every single card, every ultra rare, every rare, every reverse hollow. Now if you're missing a card, make sure you leave a spot for when you do eventually pull that card because if you don't, it's going to make things a lot more difficult. No one wants to build a binder and then have to take it apart just to add in one card. Trust me, I've done it by accident. It's not fun. So once I have all the commons, uncommons, rares, reverse hollows inside of my Battle Styles Pokemon card binder, that's when I start adding in all of my ultra rares. And then right here, I have yet to add in the ultra rares to my Battle Styles Pokemon card binder because I wanted to save that so we could all do it together and we're going to do exactly that in today's Pokemon opening. As you can see, here is the binder right here, but we need to try to add some more Battle Styles cards. We need to acquire some more Battle Styles cards first for the Pokemon card binder. So we are going to open up this entire Battle Styles Pokemon booster box. So I say we go ahead and get started and then we will add in. We will add in all of our ultra rare. So breaking family, sit back, relax. Let's enjoy each other's company. Let's have a good time. Let's be ourselves and let's enjoy some Pokemon. And I have one piece of criticism. Whenever I open up a booster box anymore, this right here, like whatever this type of material is, all of this rubs off onto my hands. And then I have to try to get it all off before I open up the cards. I don't like that. That's no fun. Hopefully this issue will be fixed. What is up my breaking family? Send in some positive vibes in your direction. And yes, I know I need a haircut. Am I going to get a haircut? Absolutely not. Until I pull the shiny Greninja from Hidden Fates, then and only then will I consider getting a haircut. Until then, I'm just going to vibe with it. I'm going to roll with it. I'm, I'm just going to be myself, okay? Is that good with you? You vibing with it? Perfect. That's what I like to hear. Unfortunately, I know you're not vibing with it. You're rude. I know. You're, you're a little bit on the rude side. I'm just being honest. Just being honest. All right, Breaking Family, let's go ahead and get started opening up our Battle Styles Booster Packs. We have 36 of them right here. And what I'm going to do is I am going to separate all these out by pack artwork. And then we are going to figure out also which pack artwork is going to have the most ultra rare pulls. So what I'm going to do is when I snap my fingers, we're going to go into fast forward mode. Here we go. Three, two, one. And there we go, fast forward mode complete. Let's go ahead and start off with Empoleon. Now I have yet to pull, I have yet to pull either of the alternate arts of the Empoleon or the Tyranitar. Well, I take that back. I actually take that back. Um, I did pull the Empoleon alternate art. However, it was during the free box break here on this channel. Yes, if you are new here to this channel all year long, we have been doing free Pokemon box breaks where I give out packs of Pokemon cards 
two viewers, fans of the channel, and we have another one coming up very soon. So turn on notifications, energy, so you don't miss when the next one is going to happen and how you can be a part of it. The goal of 2021 is to give away at least 1,000 packs of Pokemon cards for absolutely free by the end of 2021. At least 1,000. At least 1,000. So I have, uh, I have some more box breaks coming up very, very soon. All right. Here we go. So first pack had that Galarian Slowbro and that Pur Ugly. We got Bellsprout, Electabuzz, Gligar, Honedge, Energy. Put that right back there. Hey, that's a Water Energy. Uh, we got Karina's Focus, Crawdunt, which I don't know what what is Crawdunt doing. It's definitely not a high five. I'm not. No, I'm not. No, I'm not high fiving that Crawdunt. No, no. I already said no. Not high fiving you, Crawdunt. And then you appear once again. And a Pavilion for our rare. I'm gonna give out the code cards in every single booster pack. I do that in every single video. So if you love code cards. You can always come over here, grab yourself a code card. We're just going to go straight to it this time. Blip Bug, Esper, more of a dog person than a cat person. No offense, Esper. We have Scroll of Scorn and a Clay Doll. Ooh, and an energy. Put that right back there in my filing cabinet. Yes, I do try to complete every single set. I try to pull every single card from every single set. You see some of the previous binders right down there. All right, here we go. Let's go to the next one. You can actually go back and watch past videos of where I'm trying to complete binders. Oh, there we go. Tapu Coco VMAX making an appearance. Woo! I actually do not have the full art Tapu Coco VMAX and we got an energy. Crawda, no, no, no high five. And a code card right there. Let's go ahead and sleeve that one up. Can we get close to 100% completion Whoop! in today's Pokemon opening? Empoleon doing pretty well. We're only on the Empoleon pack artwork. So if you haven't made your guess of which pack artwork to do or, or to pick which, one, which pack artwork is going to have the most ultra rare pulls, go ahead and do that right now down in the comments. Whoo! All right, here we go. And a Cricketune. Now remember, me and Cricketune are having a little bit of a feud right now. If you don't know this, maybe you're new here to the channel, but who has the better mustache? Is it me? Or is it Cricketune? Honestly, I don't even know Cricketune's mustache is real. I, you know, I'm not trying to start any drama here, but I believe Cricketune's mustache is not real. So, uh, that might be, that might be breaking news. Uh, but Cricketune, I think I got it. I think I got it, okay? And here is every other card in the booster pack and the code card once again. Empoleon looking like it's doing pretty well so far. Whoop. Two ultra rares. I don't know if I give away that code card or if I give away that one, but there you go. There you go. All right, Empoleon doing a great job so far. All right, we have All Wild the Mall Wild and a Hollow Rare Crobat, which I actually believe I needed for the binder, there's the code card right there. Did I say, did I, did I just call Crow about a, a code card? <laughs> I feel like I did. Let's check that real fast. Um, Crowbat, Crowbat. Oh yes, there is where it would go. Let's go ahead and add it to the binder so we don't forget. Obviously I would still need the reverse hollow for the binder, but hey, we pulled it. Empoleon definitely bringing a lot of luck during today's Pokemon opening, Shinx, Esper, Roly Coley, Karina's Focus, and a sword. And the code card right there. All right, two packs for Empoleon left. Empoleon. Come on. Don't let us down. Don't let us down. We have more Pico, more Peko, and a Licky Licky. Energy. Put that right back there in my filing cabinet. There's the code card right there. We're just having a good time. Chill, relax. Not everything has to be so serious. I'll pick him up. Don't worry, I'll pick him up. We're side up, we'll pick him up. One of the two. I'm, it'd be nice if you at least picked up one. We're in this together. We're in the, I know you're not gonna pick up one, but if you could help at least, that'd be nice. All right, spoink. We have Shinx, Houndour, and a Hollow Rare Luxray. Energy, put that right back there. And the code card right there. Oh, wait a minute. Can't. Oh. I thought that was, 
I was gonna make a joke, okay? It's camping gear. It's not the card I thought it was. There's the code card. All right, so that is it for Empoleon. So two ultra rares for Empoleon, not bad at all. Time to go into Single Strike Urshifu. Something tells me Single Strike Ur Urshifu is uh, going to be bringing the heat. And if you didn't see yesterday's video, um, I actually took you all on a trip to Dollar General. You all know how much I love the dollar store. I am the king of the dollar store after all. But I was essentially trying to find some dollar store booster packs, some $1 packs of Pokemon cards because also in yesterday's video, we were trying to add some more cards to our Cosmic Eclipse binder that's right back there. That is a hard set to pull one of every card from. Durant, reverse hollow. So we were trying to do that in yesterday's video. All right, going into the next booster pack. We're doing all sorts of crazy things here on this channel. We're just having a good time. Silly Cobra. And didn't we just pull that? We just pulled that back to back. That's interesting. Energy, level ball, time to level up. There's the code card. Flying squirrel, get out of the screen. All right. I don't know what's going on with these packs. All right, here we go. We have Spoink, Mawile, Cacnea. Does Cacnea need some water? It looks like it's been walking along for so long, but technically cactuses do have water in them, right? That's uh, that's something I learned somewhere. The One of the few times I paid attention in school, I think I learned that somewhere. I learned something. All right. Going into another Cacnea, Salizzle Speed. We got a Spearow and it'd be rude to tell a bird to just sit there and not spread its wings and fly away bird, fly away. We have Rapid Strike Energy going into a Lorantis for the rare in that one. Energy, whew, that is a lot of food. Look at that, look at that. Is that Moo Moo Milk right there? And I think we got uh, an Apple Core. Wow, okay. That is, that is a lot, and you saved none for us. That is very rude. Very, very rude. You gotta share. Bruno and the code card. No ultra rares so far yet for single strike Urshifu, but wait a minute. Wait a minute. No, wait a minute. You gotta wait a minute. Don't spoil it. Even though you think you might know what it is, don't spoil it. Wait a minute. Galarian Slowpoke. <laughs> Galarian Slowpoke. Whew, I can't speak today. We have a Timber! Esper, Galarian Slowpoke, I got it that time. And a Bruno, full art Bruno, making its presence known, throwing a punch, hopefully not at me. I don't want to upset Bruno at all. More Pico, more Peko, and the code card right there. I, I don't mind another Bruno. I'll take another Bruno. I believe, however, whoop! <laughs> that that was that was definitely uh a lot louder than i thought it was gonna be um i already have a bruno yeah, i'm i'm cracking myself up um i already have a bruno in here i think yeah there we go i pulled that bruno from a family dollar booster pack surprisingly um i uploaded that video last week if you want to go check it out that was a uh, that was a good, uh, good video, actually. Spearow, fly away, fly away. Level ball, Primeape, whew. Primeape, it doesn't look, is, is Primeape throwing those punches? Oh, yeah, it is. Energy, Tower of Waters. Speaking of waters, gotta hydrate. Take a drink from the ocean. <sighs> you want a drink? There you go, all right. We're all, we're all hydrated here. <laughs> I can't be the only one that talks to their side hooks. <laughs> Yamper, Bellsprout, we have Onyx, and a Victory Bell, and I'm about to do my Victory Bell impression for all of you. <clears throat> Get ready, here we go. Ah! <laughs> Energy, I'll put it right back there. Experience share, I would like to share some of my knowledge and experience with you. I'm gonna give you a random fact right now because I'm gonna share some experience with you. All right, random fact. Uh, um, wow, I really put myself on the spot. 
Uh, Cubone, hey, Stoutland! <laughs> Stoutland, there we go, Stoutland V. Whoo, saved me, Tool Jam. Now that right there, my friends, is my jam. I had to do it, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, nobody still, still, I know I've done this joke plenty of times, but nobody, even in the balcony, nobody, nobody, okay. I still think it's funny, I still think it's funny. There's the code card right there, whoo! All right, let's go ahead and sleeve up our Stoutland V. Here we go. Right there in the VIP section. All right, Tyranitar. So, so far, two for Empoleon, two for Single Strike Urshifu, and then we're going into Tyranitar. That'd be very interesting if all of them were two, two, and two. All right, here we go. We got Onyx, Rimmeraid, Zubat, Yamper, which one of my favorite artworks from the set. However, not my most favorite artwork from the set. Energy Recycler. We got a Conkladur. Energy. Weeping Bell with that drool. You know, when you wake up from a nap and it was a really good nap and you get a little bit of drool and you got to, ooh. And then now it's all over your hands and then like you wipe it on the couch and hopefully nobody notices. Honchcrow, Perugly. And there is the code card right there. It's happened to all of us. It happens to me all the time. All right. It's just such a good sleep. You start drooling. We have Galarian Slowpoke. Tim. Esper. Going into a Sandaconda. Looking very, very fierce. Level Ball. And a code card right there. You know what? Actually, now I got a random fact for you. I got a random fact for you, um, and all thanks to Sandaconda. Um, but apparently, this is something I learned the other day, but apparently, <laughs> I had to do it. Um, apparently, uh, squirrels are immune to snake venom. Who, who would have thought? That's, that's a real thing, apparently. Um, but yeah, squirrels are immune to snake venom. Uh, however, when they're little, little bitty, little bitty um, baby squirrels, they're not. So the adult squirrels have to protect the baby squirrels from snakes. So that's something that I, something that I learned. Um, but who would have thought squirrels are are immune to uh, snake venom? That's a that's very interesting. I'm pretty sure that's a real thing. Energy, more pico, more peco. Mustard, much more of a ketchup person. Bruno is also much more of a, a ranch person. And it's kind of crazy how over the years, ranch is now like a common condiment, right? Um, used to be kind of just like mustard and ketchup was the common condiments. Um, but now, but now ranch is 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 pretty common, right? Galarian Mr. Rhyme, just having a good time. Definitely, there's a code card right there. Definitely giving off some like Willy Wonka vibes when Willy Wonka walks out of the chocolate factory for the very first time. I'm talking about the original uh, Willy Wonka in the chocolate factory. He walks out of the, uh, the, the factory for the very first time and kind of um, uh, tricks everybody and then kind of does that stumble and then rolls and makes that big performance. That's what That's the vibe that I get from that. All right, going into the next Tyranitar pack artwork. Fly away, fly away. We got Glammeow, Ndidi, going into Necrozma V, which we have not pulled one of those yet, so we'll get to add that to the binder as well. We got Drool Weeping Bell and the code card. Don't act like you don't drool sometimes in your sleep. It happens to the best of us. Whoop, right up there in the VIP section. All right, Zubat, how you doing? Welcome to the party. Fly away! Galarian, Mr. Mime. Galarian, Mr. Mime once again. And Flinx! It is a... A, uh, a party of Flinx. Energy, mustard, not ketchup. There's the code card. Two Tyranitar pack artworks left. We're gonna have a huge mess to clean up. I don't want to clean it up. No? Okay, well, I tried. Primate! Double Primeape. Dodged the Primeape Punch. I'm getting better at this. I'm getting better dodging the Primeape Punches. 
and that code card for the Pokemon TCGO. If you're trying to figure out how to play the Pokemon card game, the Pokemon TCGO is a great learning source um, or learning tool to figure out how to play the Pokemon TCG. Um, you can actually go step by step in the Pokemon TCGO. I know you can actually download it from the Pokemon website. It's all free too. So it's a great way to figure out how to play the Pokemon TCG. And I highly suggest if you don't know how to play, learning, at least learning how to play, you don't have to go to tournaments if you don't want to, but learning how to play really opens up a whole new universe when you look at the cards. So we have Fomantis, Mobile, Mankey. Dodged it once again. I'm getting good at this. I'm getting good at this. Horsey, I see it. I see it right there. Lorantis going into Rapid Strike, Urshifu V, full art. That is beautiful. Take a look at that. It's nice, right? It's nice. Rapid Strike, Urshifu V, Energy, Hero, fly away, fly away. And the code card for that one, not bad at all. Honestly, not bad. We're doing really, really well. We have a total of one, two, three, four, five, six. So, you know, there is, I've, I've opened up booster boxes very rarely, very rarely, but I've, I've gotten 10 ultra rares in a booster box before. So, Yamper, Galarian Slowpoke. We have, oh, Sleeping Onyx. Shh. Shh. <laughs> Don't wake a Sleeping Onyx. <laughs> and there we go. Rapid Strike Urshifu once again. All right, they're buddies. And Crawdon, and I looked at that really fast, and I thought it said Sherbert, and then I got to thinking about Sherbert, and whew, orange Sherbert, and that's, that's the best kind of Sherbert right there. Now I'm just going to call that card Sherbert. All right, here we go. Whoop! Right up there in the VIP section. We got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I almost said eight. Was it seven or is it eight? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. It's seven. I'm losing my mind here. I'm losing my mind. All right, we have Gligar swooping right down. Houndour, Galarian, Mr. Rhyme. Don't forget, we're gonna build a binder here in just a few moments. Oh, do I say it again? Do I say it? It's my jam. No, okay. Okay. I tried, I tried. Mawile, all while the Mawile, Zubat. We need to find that escape rope, getting too many Zubats around here. And, oh, my biggest fan, my biggest fan showed up to today's Pokemon opening. Welcome, welcome to my biggest fan. All right, a few packs left. Corpish, Galarian Slowpoke, Houndoom, Reverse Hollow, and another Crobat. I actually believe I don't have a Hollow Rare Houndoom yet. Or just a regular rare Houndoom yet. So that is something I do need to pull. Horsey Water Fountain, Bronzor, Bellsprout, Waving High. It, there's water falling down on Bellsprout. I have no idea what's going on. And our like billionth, billionth sword. And the code card once again. Three packs left. Will there be one more ultra rare inside? And I want to say thank you all for taking time out of your busy schedule to come and hang out with me. Enjoy some Pokemon, be ourselves, have a good time in a positive environment. Leave the negativity at the door. No one wants negativity. No one wants negativity. This is a positive environment, so leave the negativity at the door. Let's have a good time. Let's enjoy each other. Mankey, on the road to a million subscribers, do me a favor, hit that subscribe button, become part of the Breaking Family. And Octillery Hollow Rare, which is actually a really good card. There is the code card. Two packs left. I wonder if there will be a gold card or a rainbow rare in one of these. One can only hope. I mean, we have pulled technically three full arts. Galarian, Mr. Mime. Going into Cherubi. Energy. Put that right back there. Spupa. Buffalant. Tauros versus Buffalant. Who's going to win? I put it up in my community tab. Go vote. And Scorch right here on my YouTube channel, on the community tab. Go vote. Tauros or Bufflet. Who wins? All right. Last pack. Very last pack. We have ourselves. Electabuzz. Licky licky. No, lick a tongue, not licky licky. Horsey. 
Murkrow, fly away, fly away. Energy. Durant, more Pico, more Peco. Meow stick. Code card. And then we're gonna build the binder, so don't go anywhere. Oh, Galarian, Mr. Rhyme. Willy Wonka, you ruined the party. Never thought I would say that, but Willy Wonka, you ruined the party. All right, here is our ultra rares we are going to add to the binder. First up, we have Cricketune at number six, going right there in that spot. Looking beautiful, that first page doesn't have an empty spot now. Obviously, we still need some reverse hollows. Next up, we have Flapple coming in at number 19. Uh, so 18, 19, right up there in the corner. Flapple V Max. And we have Tapu Coco VMAX, number 51. 51. So we have Flying Squirrel right there. 49, 50, 51 right there to the far, far right. And then we're going to go into Mimikyu, which is card number 62. So Meowstic right down there is 61. So boom, that was easy. 62, which I love the artwork on that. And then we have Necrozma, 63, perfect. Now that page right there does not have an empty spot. Ooh, even all the reverse hollows, almost complete. We need that one and we need that one. All right, next up we have Single Strike Urshifu V, which is 85. All right, so we got Stone Jorner, which is 84, super easy, boom. 85 right there got to be super 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 careful putting those in there we also have rapid strike urshifu which is 87 so 86 87 right there still need a couple more cards for that page going into tyranitar which is easily the most pulled ultra rare in this set for me 97 there is 98 right there so 97 Going right down there in that corner. Corviknight, how you doing Corviknight? We got 109 because O is not a number. And then right there is, I can't, I can't see. 10, okay, 108 right there. And then 109 right above the Fero. Beautiful, beautiful. Stoutland, 117. I think Stoutland, oh no. Stoutland is probably gonna be right down here. Yeah, right by her ugly. Stoutland V, and then Flapple, Full Art Flapple. We got 143, so we gotta go a little ways back here. 143, so Single Strike Energy is 141, 142, and 143. Boom, there we go. And 152, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, zero, one, Two. All right. Boom. We have our full art rapid strike Urshifu going right there in that spot. Bruno is up next. Full art Bruno. So that was 152, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 right there in the middle. 158. Bruno going right in the middle of the page. Next up we have Phoebe. 161. Nine, zero, one, there we go. Put it right below Bruno. And then we got, not ketchup, but mustard, rapid strike style mustard to be exact, going right beside that last one. Boom, there we go. Victini VMAX, rainbow rare, 165, 165. Three, four, and five, right up there in the corner. And then last but not least, the gold octillery, the secret rare octillery, 178. 178. So we got 65, six, seven, eight, nine, zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, right? Uh, yeah, so right there in the bottom corner goes our secret rare gold octillery and we are one step closer to 100% completion. Breaking family, that's it for today's Pokemon video. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. Check out these videos right over here. I'll see you all in the next video and I truly love every single one of you all around the world. Do it with me now. Peace, love, and high five.